Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video this is going to be what is your person's late night thoughts about you. So please remember this is a general reading therefore it may not resonate with everyone. However I do believe if you click to this video there is a message here for you. I do offer private readings which is linked down below in the description box which will take you straight to my Etsy shop. You can also book a reading with me on my Instagram if you DM me. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date to my latest readings and to like this video and leave me a comment to let me know what resonated. So as usual I have prepared three different crystals to help you intuitively pick the right pile you feel most called to. So for group one we have the mahogany obsidian, group two we have the gold sandstone and then for group three we have the jasper. So you can pause the video if you would like to meditate on the crystal and the card you feel most called to and whatever you feel more warmth towards out of these three groups and then choose that pile. So I'm going to put some music on to help you to meditate on what you feel called to and then when you feel ready you can click your timestamp which is linked down below in the description box. So I will see you at the click of your timestamps. group number one and welcome to your reading so you chose the mahogany obsidian so we're going to find out what your person's late night thoughts are about you so i already asked for a message from my cards and this is the channeled message i received the rest of the messages we will be pulling intuitively from my decks so we have the hermit so I'm already picking up that for some of you, your person is a Virgo. So your person could be sun, moon or rising, or for some of you, it's a placement in their chart. But I feel like this person, they do have a lot of late night thoughts about you, okay? Because I can see they spend a lot of time to themselves, especially at night. So this could be, you know, their thoughts, you know, when they are laying in their bed and they're trying to kind of settle down for the night. And I feel like this person may dream of you as well. So it's not just like their late night faults before they go to sleep. This is like reoccurring in their dreams. You know, I can see that they have a lot of passion for you. There's a lot of passion that they are thinking about. So they are very attracted to you, group number one. And I can see it's almost like they feel like they're carrying a lot of this on their shoulders. Okay, they feel like they're carrying the weight of all their feelings that they are just taken along with them so it's almost like their inner thoughts can sometimes um be a bit of a nightmare for them because they're not expressing how they feel because they've completely isolated their emotions from reality to you know non-reality that I feel like this is something that is kind of lurking in the dark for them so I do feel like at night their feelings get very very strong for you and this is how they feel towards you so how does group number one what is their late night thoughts about you? What is group number one? Their late night thoughts. Their person's late night thoughts about you. Your person's late night thoughts about you. Can we get one more message? Okay, so we have the Prince of Cups. We also have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, group number one, I feel like there is a strong Taurus here as well. I really pick that up in the Queen of Skulls and the Hierophant, okay? So the, again, it could be Sun, Moon or Rising out in the, the natal chart. But I'm picking up a strong Earth sign of Taurus and Virgo. The, those are the kind of two strong Zodiac signs in this reading. Uh, we do also have the Prince of Growls, which is corresponding to water signs. So we have um, a Pisces, a Scorpio, and a Cancer popping up. So for some of you, this is your person. And it could be, again, a placement in their chart, or it could be moon or rising. I can see your person's late night thoughts about you is they are very much a deep thinker. They think a lot about you. 
it's almost like they go into this gaze, they go into this deep stare because again they're blocking their emotions. So you may have had uh, a past relationship with this person or you know this person is a secret admirer is what I'm hearing. But I'm also seeing that you know that this person again has a lot of strong will okay of how they feel when they think about you because they always have their eyes on you and this is not necessarily in person but I feel like in their mind's eye they picture your face a lot. So as well as their emotions you know I feel like they are you know very attracted to you so they may have kind of you know physical dreams about you or physical things that appear in their mind's eye because they can see that they're trying to resist this they're trying to resist you because their late night thoughts about you again they're just deeply staring into the thought of being with you. So again, you may not know this about your person, but I do feel like there is a deep connection here. It's almost like they're surrendering to this feeling. So I do feel like they enjoy it, but they also, it kind of does traumatize them a bit because it gives them this anxiety because they don't know how you feel about them as well. It's almost like I'm getting the impression that you may have these late night thoughts about them as well. So it's kind of like a mutual feeling, but hasn't been expressed yet so there needs to be this commitment level of you know if you have these same uh, ways of thinking I can see this connection to the color purple which is coming through very strong in your reading group number one so I can see that your crown chakra may be of significance to your person so your person has this late night thoughts about you because of their crown chakra where it's saying to them that they know this connection to you and the universe and this is like a very kind of heads-on attitude so again they're very much thinking about you a lot I can see that you are basically in the center of their thoughts I can see they're all thinking about um, starting something new with you they may be thinking about asking you out they may be thinking about reconnecting old times with you old memories or wanting to open up back up to you is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing these kind of flowers, these roses opening up for you. So this is something that they may think about at night because again, I feel like you are always on their mind group number one. So let's get you some more messages. What is group number one's late night thoughts about them? The person's late night thoughts about group number one. Group number one's person's late night thoughts about them. What is their late night thoughts? Okay, so these are the cards that jumped out for you. Okay, so group number one, I can see that your person's late night thoughts about you is they are trying to believe in their self and they're trying to concentrate their power towards their goal with you. So they're trying to seize the moment. I can see their late night thoughts is knowing that they can achieve anything with you. So... I do feel like they are trying to take control of this situation. So I do feel like, you know, they are they want to be in charge to know where this is leading. So this is almost like they're thinking of a new path with you. Their late night thoughts is they are thinking about sacrifices that may be needed for this relationship or this connection. So they are just thinking about what they can achieve with you, okay, and the progress that they can make with you. So again, this could be a past relationship, a new relationship, but I'm, I'm picking up the colours deep red. I'm also picking up um, that they do have late night thoughts about you because I can see that um, they are thinking about a change in this relationship, but a good change. So their late night thoughts is, is positive. They're thinking about good fortune with you. They're thinking to seek balance in your inner and outer life so they're very much thinking about how they can work on this relationship and they have a lot of playful thoughts their late night thoughts are very playful and I feel like they are thinking about travel with you this could be kind of astral travel as well in their sleep you know they're when they're trying meeting you in their dreams or you know they're thinking about that your home or what it would like to be in a relationship with you and to kind of maintain this balance so I can see the specific time that they think about you is at midnight so it's almost like that's when they become active with their crown chakra and their faults and I can see they have a lot of physical 
thoughts about you. So this could be very intimate thoughts that they think about you. So in group number one, I can see, you know, they do have a lot of um, affection and physical feelings about you. So again, their late night thoughts is definitely of an intimacy nature because they can see this is a card of pure love. And it does represent two forces coming together. So this is a love between two people. So again, group number one, I feel this connection is strong. This is either a relationship that you've had with this person or it's something new, it's exciting. It's again, it's this kind of uh, attraction that you both have towards each other. So I can see your person's late night thoughts about you is very much of an attractive nature. It's about uh, being empathetic as well and again it's just all about love so this person may even love you group number one for some of you who have that deep connection with this person where they feel like they love you and again I'm picking up the evening is when they get these emotions stir up for them group number one what is their person's late night thoughts about them group number one what is their person's late night thoughts about them Group number one, what is their person's late night thoughts about them? So the two messages that came out for you, group number one, was you have healing. Uh, imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So group number one, again, I picked up that some of you had this past relationship with this person. And this person's late night thoughts about you is they're thinking about healing and mending this relationship. So they really are imagining you at night um, in their mind's eye where they are thinking about bringing positive energy and light to this relationship. So they may be kind of playing with images in their mind, reacting certain things that happened or what they want to happen. They, get, they try to feel that your relationship has been healed at that very moment so it's kind of like they're kind of reacting things or making things happen at night in their faults we have look deep within your heart and you will feel my love my love for you is as deep as the ocean wow so group number one there definitely is a strong connection here because we picked that up here this person does love you group number one for some of you tuning in this could be a bit of a raw subject for you or it could be quite recent maybe it's quite a um it's kind of happened quite recently that this connection has either broken or needs this healing but i can see this person does feel very deep in their heart for you and they are expressing their love for you uh late at night so it's almost like they can't live without you group number one Especially uh, their late night thoughts about you kind of helps them get through this situation with you. So this is the reading I received for you, group number one. Let me know in the comments what resonated with you. I would love to know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date to my latest readings and give the video a like. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello, group number two, and welcome to your reading. So you chose the gold stone uh, crystal which is super super sparkly so I already asked for a message of your person's late night thoughts about you and the rest of the messages we're going to be intuitively pulling from my decks so the first card you have is you have the lovers so group number two I find this so interesting because to ask about your person's late night thoughts about you and the jumping card to come out was the lovers i feel like the universe is trying to give you a very specific message here in regards to love uh, for some of you you could be dealing with a gemini it could be sun moon rising or a placement in their natal chart so your person's late night thoughts about you are really frisky um, again i'm picking up a lot of passion a lot of uh, sensuality um, they have a lot of kind of sexual and fantasy thoughts about you is why I'm picking up. So this connection is kind of um, more romantic. It's more uh, on a deep kind of um, sensual level. I feel like this person has late night thoughts about laying with you at night. Okay, so they could have these thoughts when they are laying in their bed, when they're trying to go to sleep. But 
it's all about this transformative energy that they are trying to transform their faults into something more logical rather than just something that is of a physical nature you know i can see that they are you know where we have the the green heart and the red heart it's like their faults are kind of being activated by their heart chakra but it's almost like again it's like do they listen to their heart or their mind it's like they're battling with the physical side of what they think of you compared to their emotional side so can we get more messages for group number two their person's late night thoughts about you group number two what is it your person's late night thoughts about you can we get one more message group number two okay so we have the four of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles and then we also have the prince of swords and the ten of pentacles so group number two i was picking up a gemini and i feel it's being confirmed again i feel like we have air signs of um a gemini an aquarius or a libra again it could be sun moon rising or a placement in their chart I feel like they almost want to scream at night because I feel like you are driving them crazy, group number two. Your person's late night thoughts about you is they are just, you know, thinking about you a lot where I feel like they are delivering messages to you, okay? At night, they are actually secretly trying to uh, be telepathic towards you. So you may hear communication in your mind because I feel like this person is trying to kind of put those thoughts in your mind. So I can see your person, their late night thoughts about you is, again, this communication where they want to send you a message, okay? They want to give you an offer, an opportunity. So there could be kind of news on the way to you, group number two, in regards to this person. But I do feel like it's from the minute they go to sleep to the morning they wake, when the sun rises, is this change. And I feel like they are scared of this change because I feel like they're more comfortable with their faults at night than they are during the day because they can see group number two they're holding something back from you in terms of you know because they're holding so much of their emotions in and they're not willing to let these go so their late night faults can be quite selfish because i feel like maybe they're not expressing this to you during the day because they can see they're kind of playing with your faults they're playing with your mind Group number two, this person could be someone uh, that you've, you're in a relationship with or it's a person that you may want a relationship with. But this person has a very laid back attitude because they're kind of happy with just thinking about you at this point. They're kind of just happy with having these faults that stir up at night for them. And, you know, they're putting on their shield, they're putting on this armour because, again, they're just not letting anything slip away they're not giving anything away so that could be why you're tuning this reading to find out what they're thinking about you at night because they're not giving anything away and i can see that this relationship needs a lot of work or it this is like of a work in progress for you and your person so i can see this person hasn't got to that level of maturity yet where they are thinking about having a relationship with you or having a proper conversation because i can see they are just too busy either working, they're working late nights, so they come home and they just want to relax. But I feel this energy where they're just very into you physically, they're very into your body is what I'm hearing. So again, they may have uh, these emotions where they think about you at night in a kind of physical manner and a kind of way where it's temptation coming in for them, okay? And that's why we have the lovers here because again, they have a lot of kind of naughty kind of late night thoughts about you group number two so i feel like we have a taurus we have a virgo popping up as well so your person's late night thoughts about you i can see they are thinking about the stability of this connection and maybe they feel that more physically that they are involved with you this is something that gives them more stability in their life so this is something that I can see they manifest this. They manifest in these dreams. They manifest in these uh, kind of naughty faults. Because I can see they have a hard time controlling this feeling, these faults. And again, it's all to do with your reflection. They're very much into your reflection. 
And we also have the Ten of Skulls, so I can see that they are thinking about completing something with you. This is like an end of a cycle for them, so I feel like, you know, in the long run, they are thinking about, you know, if you are right for them in terms of, you know, settling down. But this is something I feel is a block for them. Because they're so into you physically, I feel like they're contemplating this decision. They're really thinking hard about, you know, not just emotionally, but physically as well. And your connection, if this is something for the long run for them. So I do feel like deep, deep down, when we get to the core of this person, their late night's thoughts about you are not actually just physical. We have this connection coming through where they're thinking about more logically about this relationship and where it's going. They're thinking about you meeting their family. They're thinking about something to do with, you know, this connection of where it's going. So maybe deep down, after all the physical stuff, they do have a deep, deep connection with you. So can we get more messages for group number two? What their person's late night thoughts about you? What is group number two's late night thoughts about you? Group number two, your person's late night thoughts about you. Okay, so group number two, these were the cards that um, jumped out for you. So group number two, your person's late night thoughts about you. Is they're thinking about accomplishments. Again, we just spoke about this energy, so I do feel like they're thinking about completion. So I feel like it's been confirmed that they do have something more than just physical with you. I feel like their late night thoughts is they're thinking about their hopes and their dreams that are soon to kind of materialise for them. So they're thinking about wholeness with you and they're indicating a sense of deep satisfaction. So they feel very satisfied with their late night thoughts about you. So I'm picking up this time of relaxation. So I feel like at night you are someone who relaxes them and they have this feeling of bliss. So they have these feelings of fulfillment or achievement because they have this sense that everything is working. And we did speak about them thinking about, you know, working on this relationship or this connection. And I can definitely see that is something that they are thinking about late at night. Okay, so we also had this card where I can see they have a lot of fiery energy that they are thinking about at night when they think about you. You see we have this activator here. This person has a lot of passion for you. Um, this person does act like they have less emotions during the day, but late at night I can see they are controlling a situation because they have powerful thoughts about you. They have strong thoughts and they are fighting for you. So... No, if you feel like this connection is just physical, I can see this person deep down is fighting their feelings for you of how they truly feel. It's almost like this energy for them late at night is a sacred place for them where they can gather their thoughts um, about you. Because I can see group number two that your person has a lot of focus on the task late at night. So they're trying to overcome difficulty or they're trying to have this persistence against you. So I feel like late at night they may be asking themselves to take charge of their feelings or to lead the way with you. So I feel like you're going to discover kind of new depths about this person or strengths and their power because I feel like they are blocking negative energy. So this is something they are dealing with. So their late night thoughts about you, it's almost like, you know, they're always looking out for you. They're always behind you. So know if you feel that this connection is just physical, I want you to know this person actually has some hidden feelings here. This person is oppressing their emotions and they're using their way that they physically feel about you to use this power to block these feelings. And I can see that their uh, emotions get more intensified when the moon comes out. So can we get some more messages for group number two? How does your person feel about you? So we have two messages that popped out. A message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. Group number two, I feel like this is like your message to your person. You may love this person, but I do feel like the message that we are receiving from your person they're thinking about you this very moment. So when you feel like they're not thinking about you, this is a message for you to let you know that 
this person thinks about you a lot. Their late night faults fills their head with a lot of light and positive energy because they really do care about you, group number two. And the other message we have is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So group number two, I can see your person's late night thoughts is about trust. Maybe they have had trust issues in the past with past relationships and they don't know if they can trust you just yet or their trust has been well, the trust has been questioned. So I can see we have, again, when I spoke about transformation happening, I can see transformation is occurring when this person accepts that this connection isn't just physical, that they have deep feelings here for you. So when they accept that they have these feelings, this current situation will change for you and it's going to automatically transform at night, okay? And these feelings are going to become not just physical, but more, you know, to do with the heart. So group number two, this was the messages I received for you on your person's late night thoughts about you. So let me know down below what resonated. I would love to know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date to my latest readings. And don't forget to like the video as well. And I'm sending you so much love and light. Hello group number two and welcome to your readings. So you chose the red jasper stone. So I've already channeled one message for you and the rest of the messages we will be intuitively pulling. So the first card you have, group number three, is you have the four of cups. So I can see group number three, your person thinks about you at night when they feel a bit bored, okay? So I'm just going to, you know, be as honest as I can with what I see and that is this energy coming through where this person may be of a cancer zodiac, so this could be sun, moon or rising or a placement in their chart so they may struggle with their emotions and I do feel this energy where there's someone who you know they kind of put themselves down so when they feel bored they try to imagine things and they go into this dream state so late at night I do feel like they do think about doing things with you okay this is very uh, much physical they feel very attracted and drawn to you and maybe they're not able to show these feelings towards you during the day so I do feel like you know their own mind they have these kind of creative um, imaginative faults because I feel they're unable to see that they can actually create their faults into a reality okay they're not seeing the bigger picture that you know maybe you do desire this person as well okay group number three I feel like you have these feelings as well and this person just needs to know that. They need to kind of act on these feelings rather than not seeing them. So can we get some more messages? What is group number three? Is their person's late night thoughts about you. Your person's late night thoughts about you. Group number three's person's late night thoughts about them. What is their late night thoughts about you? Group number three, your person's late night thoughts about you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Skulls and the Nine of Sceptres. So, Skulls corresponds to Pentacles and Sceptres is Wands. We also have the Nine of Skulls and we have the Hanged Man. So, group number three, we have a Taurus popping up here as well. Some of you, um, your person could be of a Taurus. Uh, sun, moon, rising or a placement in their chart. I can see they're trying to assess you and control their inner faults. Again, because they feel like they do think about you physically, okay? They do have a lot of faults. But again, there's this energy of them just not seeing you, okay? I just feel this energy where their late night faults is blocked by their emotions of how they really feel about you. Because I can see that this relationship needs a lot of work or they're working on this relationship with you whether this is a past relationship or a new relationship you know they very they really are blocking the way they feel about you group number three okay it's coming through very strong that they are trying to attain these feelings because this is the fulfillment they have at night when they think about you but again they're not letting you in this person is like blocking you out so we do have a Sagittarius popping up here for some of you so I feel like this person thinks about you when the, the the full moon is at its peak 
and I feel like they have a lot of passion for you. So I'm picking up a lot of passionate energy where they have a lot of passionate faults. But again, they're not sharing these faults with you. They're just keeping them as faults. Because I feel like they're close to kind of expressing how they feel towards you, okay? I feel like they feel like if they did express all these feelings, they would feel really free. So again, I feel like the full moon is coming up a lot. So again, their their light night faults do kind of get stronger over the three days before the full moon and the three days after. So this is something to bear in mind that, you know, you may hear more from this person around this time, but I do feel like... This person feels very free in that their intimacy and their thoughts about you. So it's almost like in their thoughts they can do what they want. They feel free in their mind when they think about you. And again, I just pick up this energy. They're kind of scared to tell you these thoughts. They're scared of what you think about what they are thinking about you. So we also have a Virgo popping up as well. So I can see their late night thoughts about you is they are taking moments to really pause on their faults because they like these faults about you so I can see that it's almost like they're procrastinating on these faults because again they're not acting on them group number three they're not acting on these actions because it's too much in their head their faults is so much in their head and they're not releasing these feelings they're not letting you know how they feel because I feel like you actually feel the same about each other but this person is kind of again blocking they're unable to move because they're not seeing the opportunity they can have with you. It's almost like, you know, they feel a bit entrapped. They feel tightly restricted. And at night, their late night faults is not restricted. It's three. It's flowing. It's movement. And, and I'm actually hearing that they feel more comfortable with you at night because their faults can run free. They can run free with their faults and that's they feel more comfortable in their thoughts than they do when they actually see you. So for group number three, what is their person's late night thoughts about them? Group number three, person's late night thoughts. Group number three, what is their person's late night thoughts about them? Group number three, a person's late night thoughts. Group number three, person's late night thoughts about them. Okay, so these were the cards that jumped out for you, group number three on your person's late night thoughts about you. So group number three, your person has a lot of creative energy. So late at night, they feel like nothing is impossible. So again, it's that energy of that their thoughts just, uh, they're more comfortable with than they are in the physical world. And I can see that their late night thoughts is thinking of starting something with you. So they're thinking of like unlimited potential that they can go wild at night with their thoughts and their dreams so they're very much thinking about being adventurous with you physically so they're very much a risk taker in their thoughts because they may be initializing the boundaries between you two because at night in their thoughts they have no boundaries and I can see that they think about the potential in this relationship I can see your person has a lot of thoughts late at night about you, about being very sympathetic to your situation. So I feel like they're treating you with kindness and affection in their thoughts. So late at night, they engage with your deepest feelings. So I do feel like this person, there's some kind of forgiveness here as well. So I do feel like they continue to seek peace even after you know, their faults where they're suffering. So again, there's someone who, you know, they may have gone through a lot or they're suffering with their emotions. And this is how they deal with them. They just feel that when they fantasize about you late at night, this is a dream state that they can kind of take themselves out of the real world. You know, and I do feel like we they start to think about you in the late afternoon because they have these compassionate feelings towards you. So group number three, I can see that your person's late night thoughts about you is something wonderful um, that is about to happen when they think about you. So I feel like they receive a gift or this pleasant surprise and it's almost like they have material gain when they think about you. So they're almost thinking about giving and receiving to you. So again, it's almost like this pleasure they are thinking about uh, you know, being physical with you is like giving and receiving. They're very you know, thinking about being generous. So their late night thoughts is very kind. They're kind of 
caring for you and they are thinking about security as well they have uh, thoughts about you about being content and kind of thinking about blossoming this connection so this is all about the kind of materialistic things that they think about you and their feelings are abundant towards you they think about you a lot that's coming through their late night thoughts they think about you a lot because i can see in the doves this gives them a lot of peace so can we get group number three some messages their person's late night thoughts about you group number three what is their person's late night thoughts about you group number three what is your person's late night thoughts about you Group number three, what is your person's late night thoughts about you? Group number three, what is your person's late night thoughts about you? So group number three, we had three messages that came out for you. We have sacred union, honour and treasure your relationship for is truly sacred. So again, this relationship I feel like is a secret. Group number three, or this person, again, because they're not opening up to you and they feel more confident in their dreams or... Their, their thoughts about you rather than expressing them this is a sacred relationship okay it's almost like this relationship is a secret is what i'm hearing criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform so i can see your person's thoughts is they criticize their self too much they put their self down and I feel like they have a lot of unhappiness that they need to deal with. So they need to kind of love and accept themselves. Because before they can love you, they need to love their self. You know, it's all about, you know, you have to love yourself before you can love another. So I can see that they're trying to accept you as you are as well. And this relationship. So this is what will transform for them, is when they start to accept this situation and their faults. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So again, I feel like they feel more confident when they close their eyes, when they think about you, because they're telling themselves that they deserve to feel joyful. But, you know, we have this criticising energy where they don't feel like this. In reality, they don't. They don't feel like they deserve to feel your presence. So they need to know that the circumstances need to change and there's going to be more joy if they communicate with you because again they're unable to communicate this message to you. So group number three, this was the reading I received for you on your person's late night thoughts about you. This is messages that they are unable to deliver directly to you. So please let me know down below what resonated in the comment box, I would love to know. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date to my latest readings. So I'm sending you all so much love and light.